The smallest of the poodles, toy poodles are highly trainable, very intelligent, athletic, and a versatile breed. With their great personality and highly trainable nature, they can easily integrate into family life. Their hypoallergenic nature makes them a gem to those with allergy issues, and their goofiness brings joy to those around them. Toy poodles are intelligent, lively little dogs that prefer to be with their families most of the time. They are friendly, sweet-natured and they love to be around people. As a toy poodle owner, there are some things you must avoid doing when it comes to your dog and in this video, we will talk about 5 things you must never do to your toy poodle. But first, if you would like to keep getting useful tips and guides about your dogs or cats, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel, because we constantly bring you useful info that will help you be a better pet owner. Let's get started. 1. Never leave them without grooming. Some owners feel that because toy poodles are hypoallergenic, meaning they shed very little, makes it okay to leave them without grooming for a while. But this will only end up causing issues for the poodle. They are very high maintenance, as you'll need to trim their coat frequently to avoid matting and tangling. Although they are hypoallergenic and barely shed, their coat needs to be brushed regularly, typically every six to eight weeks, depending on your preferences. Left untrimmed, the coat will naturally curl towards itself, forming cords, which can be painful for your toy poodle. 2. Never leave them in loud places for too long. Toy poodles can be wary of new people. They are naturally watchful dogs and won't do well if the environment is constantly loud. Toy poodles are very sensitive to your emotions and body language. That's because they're intelligent enough to understand what you want them to do. Sometimes, though, the sensitivity means that they might not be ideal for a loud household where they often have a hard time adjusting. If you are living in a loud household, try to get a safe space for your poodle where it isn't as loud. These dogs are not good at handling loud noises and strange people coming in and out of the house. A household with a lot of activity and a lot of traffic can have detrimental effects on a toy poodle's health. They might be in constant fear because they're always being startled or in a state of frightful aggression when aroused by loud noises. 3. Never pamper your toy poodle. Toy poodles are brilliant dogs, but their size does make them easier to carry. Owners may find themselves tempted to fawn over them and pamper them because they're so adorable, but this is actually not good for the dog. They're intelligent, which means they'll catch on quickly and feel entitled to being carried around and being pampered. This can make it hard for them to follow rules, and it'll be difficult to train them properly. 4. Never leave them alone for too long. Toy poodles are very intelligent. However, this intelligence also comes with downsides as they can also develop common anxiety behaviors like separation anxiety, which can be problematic. So to avoid this, you can't leave them alone for too long. They require lots of affection and attention and won't do well without it. Leaving them alone for too long will make them bored, which can lead to unwanted behaviors and can affect their mental health greatly, leading to separation anxiety. These dogs can act up if you're not paying them enough attention. For example, they might do something you don't like in front of you just to get your attention. 5. Never leave them with children without supervision. Toy poodles are known to be more nervous than their larger cousins, which means kids will need to be a few years older before they can be left unsupervised while around a toy poodle. Generally, though, they get along well with children and will delight in playing games with them. But you'll also need to take into consideration how likely it is that your dog is going to end up injured. Most children will weigh more than a toy poodle by their second birthday, but toddlers are still clumsy and fall over a lot, which is very unsafe. It's no surprise then that if they do fall on your dog it might end up injured. The bottom line is, in order to give your toy poodle the best care you possibly can, you need to keep learning every day. That way, living with your toy poodle will be a rewarding experience. So, are you a toy poodle dog owner? What is your poodle like? Please leave a comment below, 